I'm James, and ever since I was a child, the night sky has been my greatest fascination. Gazing upward, I've always felt a deep sense of wonder, questioning our place in this vast universe. The stars above seem to hold ancient secrets, quietly urging us to uncover the mysteries hidden in the darkness. For generations, our view of the cosmos was limited to what our eyes could perceive, until the invention of telescopes changed everything. Early astronomers, peering through simple glass lenses, discovered moons circling Jupiter and craters dotting our own moon. These first revelations forever transformed our understanding, revealing a universe far more intricate and astonishing than we'd ever imagined. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as humanity's most advanced window into the universe, stationed a million miles from Earth. Unlike any telescope before it, JWST is built to look deeper into space and further back in time, unlocking new realms of discovery. Its distant vantage point, free from Earth's atmospheric interference, lets it capture the faintest glimmers from the universe's earliest days. Its mission? To witness the universe's first light, peering back over 13.5 billion years. JWST acts as a cosmic time machine, allowing us to observe the birth of the very first stars and galaxies after the Big Bang. By studying this primordial light, we hope to unravel some of the deepest mysteries about the origins of everything. JWST operates in the infrared, detecting ancient light stretched by the universe's expansion. This invisible glow carries the stories of the cosmos's earliest moments, hidden from ordinary telescopes. By seeing an infrared, JWST can look through cosmic dust and reveal regions of space that have remained shrouded in mystery until now. Its golden mirrors gather photons that have journeyed since the dawn of time, letting us witness the universe's first stars and galaxies. Each photon is a messenger from billions of years ago carrying clues about the universe's infancy. Thanks to JWST's incredible sensitivity, we can collect these ancient signals and piece together the epic story of cosmic evolution. While Hubble revealed galaxies in their teenage years, JWST lets us open the very first pages of the universe's story. With Hubble, we admired the beauty and diversity of galaxies. With JWST, we can now study their origins and the forces that shaped them. It's like reading the prologue of a cosmic epic that has captivated humanity for centuries. Every image and spectrum from JWST is a message from a forgotten era. These aren't just pictures, they're time capsules from when the universe was young and full of potential. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding our cosmic roots and the forces that shaped the universe we see today. We're explorers of ancient epics, decoding light to uncover the chemistry of distant worlds and the temperatures of newborn stars. By analyzing faint signals in starlight, we can detect water, carbon, and other building blocks of life on planets orbiting far-off suns. We're not just observing stars and galaxies, we're searching for clues about our own beginnings and the possibility of life beyond Earth. We're charting the unseen, bracing for the unexpected, the universe is filled with invisible forces, like dark matter and dark energy, but with JWST, we can trace their effects and start to unravel their secrets. Each new observation could challenge our theories and expand our understanding of reality itself. Because when you open a window this vast onto the cosmos, you're bound to see more than you ever imagined. The universe is overflowing with wonders and secrets, and every observation invites us to rethink what we know. Prepare to witness the unimaginable. With every new image, we're reminded that the cosmos is more mysterious, beautiful, and surprising than we ever dreamed. Our journey is just beginning, and the universe is ready to unveil its next astonishing secret. Our journey begins with galaxies. Webb's first images revealed a universe more chaotic and crowded than we imagined, tiny, misshapen blobs blazing with the fire of the first stars. These early galaxies, vibrant red in Webb's vision, are the seeds from which everything grew. In a patch of darkness, Webb found thousands of galaxies, each a city of billions of stars. Every point of light is a galaxy with its own story. Studying these primordial galaxies helps us understand how the universe became so complex. Webb captures galaxies merging, 
their stars and gas swirling in a gravitational dance. We're not just theorizing about the past, we're observing it, one ancient galaxy at a time. Webb's other mission is to explore exoplanets, potential homes for life. We studied Osiris, a hot Jupiter, by analyzing starlight filtered through its atmosphere, detecting water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and even silicate clouds. It was a weather report from a world trillions of miles away. Next, we turned to TRAPPIST-1, a star with seven Earth-sized planets, some in the habitable zone. Webb began searching for biosignatures, gases like oxygen or methane. While we haven't found life, we've confirmed atmospheres and even a possible water world. Each planet is a unique experiment in planet formation. Webb lets us compare these worlds to our own, refining our search for life. The question is no longer if we can find other Earths, but how many are out there? The search for life has truly begun. The universe is dynamic and often violent, filled with mysterious events. Webb's infrared eyes peer into stellar nurseries, revealing protostars and jets of material blasting from young suns. We see protoplanetary disks, with gaps hinting at planets forming. We witness the birth of solar systems. Webb also shows us star death, supernova remnants glowing with heavy elements, the building blocks of planets and life. We are made of stardust, and Webb reveals the cosmic factories where it's forged. Webb studies black holes, observing stars orbiting the supermassive one at our galaxy center. These observations test Einstein's theories in extreme environments. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the fundamental laws of the cosmos. Our work followed a thrilling rhythm, observe, analyze, marvel. Each night brought a new puzzle, a fresh set of data, and the hope of discovery. We were used to the universe's surprises, but always within the boundaries of what we could explain. Until, one evening, the universe surprised us in a way we had never imagined. In a patch of sky, long thought empty and unremarkable, we detected a faint, rhythmic pulse, barely perceptible, yet persistent, as if something out there was trying to get our attention. At first, we suspected a glitch in our instruments, a fleeting error in the data stream, but the signal persisted, perfectly regular, every 27.4 hours, and only in the mid-infrared. It was as if the cosmos itself was keeping time. We compared it to every known phenomenon, pulsars, variable stars, even rare cosmic events, but nothing matched. No known object could produce such a stable, unwavering rhythm. The signal originated from deep within the void, a region of space so empty it was almost forgotten, far from any galaxy or cluster. We codenamed it the Metronome for its relentless clockwork beat. The data was checked and rechecked. Independent teams from around the world joined the investigation, each hoping to crack the mystery. Could it be a binary system, two stars orbiting each other in perfect harmony? The math didn't fit. The models broke down. The signal was too clean, too perfect unlike anything we'd ever seen, with no noise, no variation, just a flawless beat. Days turned to weeks, and the mystery only deepened. We worked late into the night, driven by curiosity and a growing sense of awe. We were staring at a rhythmic beat from the middle of nowhere, a cosmic heartbeat echoing across the emptiness. It defied all our models, challenging everything we thought we knew about the universe. The unimaginable was knocking at our door, and we had no choice but to answer, stepping into the unknown with every new observation. After exhaustive analysis, we faced a stunning conclusion. The metronome was not natural. The pulse's regularity and frequency suggested deliberate modulation, a beacon. Encoded within its rhythm was a stream of data, structured with mathematical precision. It was a deliberate hello from someone, or something. The source, a colossal macrostructure, several times the size of our solar system. It absorbs the faint light of the cosmos and re-emits it as this focused, structured beam. An engineering feat beyond comprehension, a machine built in the dark, signaling its existence. The implications were staggering. We were not alone. The signal's origin is hundreds of millions of light-years away, a message from the deep past. 
The metronome is a cosmic heartbeat, proof that another intelligence once thrived in the universe. This discovery changes everything, a recalibration of our place in the cosmos. For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars, wondering if we are alone, questioning our significance in the vast expanse. Now, with this revelation, our understanding of reality itself is shifting. The universe feels both more mysterious and more connected than ever before. The macro structure proves life can evolve to manipulate matter and energy on a solar system scale. It's a feat that once existed only in the realm of science fiction, but now stands as undeniable evidence that intelligence can reshape entire worlds, even stars, to suit its needs. We had found evidence of a Kardashev Type II or even Type III civilization, beings capable of harnessing the energy of their star, or perhaps their entire galaxy. This is a level of advancement that redefines what we thought possible. The signal is a treasure trove, using universal constants as a Rosetta Stone. It's as if they wanted to be understood, encoding their message in the very language of the universe, mathematics, physics, and the fundamental laws that bind us all. It could contain the physics, biology, and history of its creators. Imagine the knowledge, insights into alien evolution, their scientific breakthroughs, and perhaps even their philosophies and art, all waiting to be decoded. The structure's existence challenges our models of engineering and physics. It forces us to rethink what is achievable, pushing the boundaries of our imagination and inspiring a new era of innovation and ambition. It forces us to confront the great filter. What barriers must life overcome to reach this level? Are we at the beginning of our journey or standing at the edge of a precipice that few civilizations survive? The beacon suggests at least one civilization made it through. But where are they now? Did they transcend physical existence? Or did they fall to challenges we have yet to imagine? Their silence is as profound as their achievement. The discovery has united humanity, sparking a new golden age of exploration. Borders and differences seem smaller now, as we come together to seek answers to questions that belong to all of us. We have turned our gaze outward with a renewed sense of purpose. Our curiosity is ignited, our ambitions expanded, and our dreams now stretch across the stars. We are part of a larger cosmic story, invited to read its most incredible chapter. The universe has spoken, and now it is our turn to answer, to explore, to learn, and to become more than we ever imagined. The cosmic beacon is not an end, but a new beginning. JWST has shown us the dawn of time, the birth of worlds, and the handiwork of another intelligence. We are a species defined by curiosity, driven to explore from the plains of Africa to the stars. Our quest for knowledge unites us and propels us forward. The universe whispers its secrets in ancient light, distant atmospheres, and the pulse of a beacon. Our job is to listen, learn, and never stop exploring. The search continues, fueled by the knowledge that we are not alone. The future is as limitless as the cosmos itself.